Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing object oriented programming concept in Python. So till now we have discussed classes and object concept, right? Now the second thing is the second important concept of hope is inheritance. So that thing we'll see in this video. What is inheritance? And the important thing is why inheritance? Why you need inheritance? The need, the benefits of using this concept. Because whenever you go to a new concept, you must first clear this answer. Why you need that concept? Why you are studying that concept? The need of that thing. So the need of inheritance. Why? Obviously, there are some benefits of using this concept. That is why we are using this concept. And what are those, what are those benefits? This thing we'll see practically with the help of programs. Right? First, we'll see basically what is inheritance. Right? Now, don't go too into that programming kind of thing in just real life. We inherit properties from our parents, right? Means if our parents are having some properties or some business, means automatically we are, ha means that property or business belong to us, right? Not just this, we inherit like na, uh, that appearance also, like uh, my eyes are exactly same as my mother's eyes. So we inherit the appearance, the features, like maybe your nose is same as your father's nose, like this. Right? Maybe your height, whether you are tall or you are, uh, you know, short, it depends on your parents' height, like this. Right? So it's our, you can say it's in our genes. Not only the, these properties, not only the appearance, we also inherit the behavior of our parents. Like sometimes, maybe you, uh, you have faced this kind of situation, you just, uh, you know, you behave in a weird way and maybe your mother say like father like son. Means jesa baap vesa beta. Or maybe your father or your parents are having anger issues. They are short tempered and so you are. You are also are having anger issues. You are also short tempered. You also react same as your parents or your father or your mother behave. You know in a particular situation. You also you know react or you also behave in that situation exactly same means we are inheriting the behavior also from our parents or maybe from our grandparents right this is i think you know and also you have experienced this thing and obviously you can uh, like right now you can feel this kind of thing maybe right now you can feel this kind of thing right so this is what inheritance in real life fine now this concept we can implement in programming right with the help of object oriented programming there we have a concept of inheritance right means we can say like uh, in programming we have classes till now we have discussed classes and objects so classes are just blueprints those are having some attributes and methods attributes mean means what what an object has are attributes what an object does the methods those are methods so in a class we are having these attributes and methods right now inheritance is the ability to inherit the attributes or the methods or you can say the properties of the class or the features of the class already created class to a newly created class we can inherit all these attributes and methods from this class into another class. So this class is, this is basically from here we are inheriting these attributes and methods. So this is known as base class or parent class or super class. And the second class which inherit See, which inherit these properties, attributes and methods from this class. This class is known as derived class or child class or subclass, right? So this is simple, you can say inheritance. So we can say inheritance is the ability to inherit the features or the properties or the attributes and methods from an already existing classes or already created classes into newer classes that we make right rather than creating that class from scratch we can inherit these features okay 
Now, this is what inheritance. But why? Why we are inheriting these attributes and methods? We can also write down our attributes and methods in this class. So, why inheritance? The answer of this question is important. So, if you got the answer of this question, why inheritance? And you understand this thing, then means you are done. Almost you got everything about inheritance. Yeah, we are studying many things like types of inheritance and many other things. But the answer of this question is important one before proceeding further. Why? Why inheritance? So this thing, now I'll see you with the help of program, right? Okay, let me just first tell you the syntax before. You just write down a name, this keyword class. Then this derived class name, right? And in bracket, we write down base class name and the colon and here the class definition whatever you want to define in this class that definition you can write right so now here you're gonna like, like class definition or statements so this is simple syntax of inheritance now let's see practically okay so let's create a new file here inheritance intro dot py right i am simply uh, defining a class and the class name i am taking like human okay now i am defining some functions like eat and in eat simply i am printing like i can eat and one more function suppose i am defining like work right and simply i am going to print here i can work so these two methods, sorry not function, these are two methods, eat and not word, it's work, I can work, right. Now let's define, see I'm having only right now methods, no attributes, that also we'll see later about attributes. Now I'm having a class and suppose I'm having a class male, right. Now obviously all male and obviously females are human, human beings. So, male can also eat, we know male can also work, right? Now, one way is either in male also you can define these two functions for male and like this. Control C and def eat, def work, I can work, I can eat, right? And simply if I like, if I create an object of male, male underscore one, any name you can take and I'm creating an object of this male class right and with the help of this now mail object mail dot c eat and work these two methods are from this mail and mail class as you can see right so you can access these methods like if i access eat and if you run this then obviously it will print i can eat c right but the thing is this is what just a waste of time right and just to increase the number of lines in our code unnecessarily because we are just repeating these lines these two things if you are a human obviously male are human so they can eat and they can work so rather than writing again I can just use these methods these are these are already defined these are already in this already created class so rather than creating this class from scratch what I can do I can just inherit these methods so this is what inheritance and this will definitely save a lot of time because here we are having only two classes and only two methods small example but on industry level there are multiple classes and very large project on very large project we are working right so obviously this is going to save a lot of time and less number of lines in our code so that is why if less number of lines then readability of our code will automatically increase maintainability as well as readability right so these are i guess you are getting now the benefits of using this concept so this is same the answer of why we need inheritance so now so the syntax i told you drive class name and in bracket you just have to pass simply the base class from this class, I, I'm going to inherit these two features. So these two methods. So just write down the name of that class. That's it. Now, if you don't want to define anything in main class, obviously male class, if we cannot leave this like this. So just have to pass 
just a past statement means we we don't know what to write down in this mail class right now but later on we will define this class also right now in mail now see with the help of this mail object mail one can you access eat and walk see here also see the difference now method eat and walk you can access but here see the name of the class is human human and at previous case the name of the here the class was male and male so from human class we are accessing eat and self so this is inheritance so now also i can print i can access eat and yeah i can eat so the main purpose of inheritance is to increase the reusability of the code we are reusing this code again rather than writing this again we are just reusing it right now this thing this is the simplest concept of inheritance the second thing is this derived class can implement can have its own attributes and its own behavior right like we we can have our own behavior it's not like that everything the all the properties all the appearance properties and all the like our behavior we inherit from our parents no we are having our own, own identity maybe their their you know uh, uh, their way of doing some work is different our way of doing our work is different so we can have different behavior so like this the derived class can also have its own attribute and methods so right now just i'm not taking the attributes i'm taking just methods so i'm just defining a method <laughs> one more method like um, maybe flirt no offense it's just an example don't take it seriously so i can flirt now see these now see using this mail how many thing you can access mail dot eat and work from human class and flirt from mail class all the three methods i can access right so if i access this flirt so it will print yeah i can flirt right and both if i want to access like mail one dot and work this is also fine see i can flirt i can work right so this work this mail class is accessing from human and this is its own method so our own attribute and methods we can define this is second thing third point important is this derived class can have its own implementation of the method that has that are already defined in human class now what does that mean let's see practically if you're not getting my words see i am taking the same method work from human class work right but my way of work is different from human class so i can redefine this method here so my way of work is like maybe i'm specific i can code so i have just i'm my i'm having my own implementation of this work method and this human class is having implementation of this work method i can work but i am having i can code so this particular thing is called overridden this is what override concept method override overriding means you have overrode this method work method previously this but you have overrode this method right now if you want to access using this object mail one dot c flood work from mail eat from human see this work is from mail you are accessing not from human because i am having my own implementation of this method so if you print work then it will print not i can work it will print i can code because you have overridden this method i can float i can code right this is overriding concept okay fine now next point is if you want if you want to have this this definition also this implement implementation also as well as you want to add something extra in that definition of that method see means i want to print i can work as well as i can code right i am not uh, implementing i am not defining this method from the scratch i want the previous definition from the base class and i want to add some extra right 
so that what how you can do that you can access with the help of we have a function super super just call this function dot what method see with the help of super it indicates that from human class from super means super class we know the base class so base classes what class you have passed here human so this is what, human is what the base class so from base class you can access all the attributes and methods of that class right with the help of with the super super door now work see human and eat so work sorry and i want to access this thing super dot work right now see let's print mail one dot work see i can flirt and i can work i can code now this work definition is because we have accessed this implementation from super so it will print i can work as well as now i have added my extra feature means one more statement i can code so both thing it will print and now if you see here this work is from male only not from human male only right so i hope you got this thing right i can flirt i can work i can code so these kind of thing you can do now this is about methods if suppose i am having attribute 2 so so this super class the super function is basically give you the access to all the methods and attributes of parent class right so let's define some attribute also i am having a init function and there i'm having like two attribute all the human are having like maybe two eyes maybe not not maybe yeah definitely they are having two eyes so num underscore eyes equal to i'm setting two right and nose number of nose equal to one only two attribute i'm taking number of eyes and number of nose so obviously male is also having the same thing number of eyes and nose two eyes and one nose right now see with the help of this mail object now you can access num eyes and number of nose from human class and number of eyes from human class right so if you want to print num underscore eyes i want to print this thing so let's print how many number of eyes uh, this mail object are having so let's run this and it will show you see i can flirt i can work i can code and number of eyes are two number of eyes two we haven't defined any attribute in mail but it is accessing from parent class right like this and if now rather than eyes and nose i want to specify one more attribute specifically for mail so that also you can do with the help of def i want to initialize and like i want to pass one parameter name name of the mail the, this class right so while calling this now creating object you have to pass name so i'm writing like self dot name is equal to name right now it will give error while calling this object because see in line number 17 while you are creating this object mail type error mail in it missing one required positional argument name because in defining in this constructor you have to pass this parameter name so let's pass uh, this name maybe akash let's run this now mail object has no attribute num eyes see no attribute num eyes why so because see last time in line number 20 because you are printing num eyes and mail object is not having attribute num eyes in mail object now i am having only name attribute but see now at this point of time let's see let me just show you this thing if you want to print mail one dot then name num eyes num eyes are from human number of nose from human and maybe you think you can access let's access number of nose so maybe you think it should print 
let's comment out this these lines work and all i'll just print number of nodes see it is not printing anything male object has no attribute num nodes why you are getting this attribute because this is derived class we can access all the attribute from here because now you have defined your own init function here right now if you want to access these attributes if you want to access these attributes then you have to use super function function so yeah we can use these attributes as well but for that in this init function in th th this derived class init function you have to call this super function dot init init function of super right and now that's fine now let me just run this see if again mail one dot name number of nodes number of eyes from human and work float and these are the methods eat as well as from human right so number of nodes or number of eyes i want to print let's run this and it will print number of eyes are two okay if i'll print the name mail one dot name so it will print see akash right so this is what the beauty of this super function it will give you the access of all the attributes and methods of super class right because here you have if you don't define your own init function it's okay without any super function you can use this thing but if you if you have defined your own init function in that case you have to call super function to access the attribute of parent parent class see the difference here right in case here also i want to pass one argument like maybe self dot heart equal to num heart or maybe self dot heart or num underscore heart num heart right this point of time it will give error simply you cannot write down here super dot init because this time this initialization is also having one parameter if you run this like this see in line number 19 because you are calling this akash and in line number 12 super init this type error human dot init missing one required positional argument num heart in line number 12 in line number 12 so you have to pass one argument num heart any other uh, name you can take it's not like that you have to uh, use this num heart same name so i am calling suppose heart only heart right okay still it will give an error see now maybe you think we have passed one parameter name as well now why it is giving an error let's run this here heart is not defined as well as see this line line number 19 Akash. Here also we got an error. See, you are you are accessing all the attributes from this human class, right? Means one parameter is num hard. So rather than name, one more you have to pass here. One more attribute for number of heart to receive number of heart. So heart, right? And whatever you write down the parameter name, you have to pass the same parameter name in super init it's not compulsory that these should be same as this parameter this can be different right now it will work fine no it will give error because akash as well as okay let's run this what error you will get see while calling this mail one while creating this object this is missing one required positional argument heart so obviously you have to pass here name as well as heart so akash comma one heart and if you print here using mail one dot see you can access now num heart this attribute of human class so num heart see num heart is one name is akash and number of eyes two or if suppose i want to define a function here one more function like display and uh, simply i want to print here using f string 
like hi, I am, name of this object on which you are calling. So I am, the name obviously we can fetch with the help of, we have a name attribute here, name. So I am self dot name and suppose I want to fetch, I have number of heart, how many number of heart? So this much heart. From where you can fetch the value of this heart? From self dot c num heart from human. And other than this, just call this display. Mail one dot display. Let's run this. I am Akash and I have one heart. Although this mail is not having any attribute num heart, but still we are using self dot num heart because we are accessing this from the parent class, the same attribute num underscore heart, not simply heart or heart, just a parameter name. The attribute name is num underscore heart, like this. So now we got the main purpose or need or use or you can say advantage of inheritance concept. What main purpose of inheritance is reusability of the code because we can create a new class from already existing class, right? We can inherit all the features and attributes, the methods from already created class rather than creating our class derived class from scratch, right? And that will definitely save a lot of time, right? So it enhances the re reusability of the code and your code would, would be more maintainable, more readable, right? And as well as a child class can provide its own specific implementation of the methods that inherit that the class derived class inherit from base class right or you can add in child class also you can add your own attribute and methods right so now i hope you have a basic idea of inheritance and why we need inheritance some use of inheritance or you can say advantage of using this concept right now in the next video we will see types of inheritance. So now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye. Take care.